Cartagena. Very, very tempting to go in there. But I'm only two to three days away from Valencia now. And despite the fact I've got no milk, I've got no cigarettes, I've really got no energy left whatsoever. We are pressing on regardless. Terrible decision, but I blame Sting. Chalos, which is directly upwind from us. And frankly, the tacking is rather tiresome. Poor old Draggy Moore, she's not very close winded. And you can see we're as close hauled as we possibly could be. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to do is keep as close hauled as possible and drive in towards the land and see whether or not the land has any effect on the wind direction and maybe we can steal a few degrees by staying very close to the land and if not maybe there's a dead band of air very close to the, band, uh, to the land as well if there is a dead band of air I'm going to put the engine on and drive because that will save me hours of tacking frankly life is too short right now for hours of tech. VMG Velocity Made Good is the vector of your velocity directly towards, in this case, the wind, which also happens to be in line with my waypoint. So you can see we're only going at two knots directly towards the the waypoint that I want to go at the actual speed over the ground is five knots and that's the problem with going upwind is that you have to sail a lot of miles to get a short distance and here we can see there we can see tack 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 here's where I played going further in in short and it paid off a little bit there's a few degrees advantage there um, I'm probably going to pay for them now though. So there was no dead band, nowhere where it was smooth enough to get any advantage from the engine. And so this is what we're going to do now until we get through here and around this waypoint here. I might see if there's any shortcuts to be taken. Impending collision, I'm trying to line you up with the victim. Don't be fooled by the way my boat is pointing, where it's pointing and where it's going. Two different things. But it looks like he's maneuvered. Yeah, uh, you know, you don't have to avoid everything by two miles, three miles. The ocean's not big enough for that. But I did give him a call and he did say he was monitoring me, so. yet another cape. This one was particularly difficult so I'm glad to see the back of that and over in the distance you can see the high-rise nightmare that is the Costa Blanca and over there somewhere is Ibiza and Mallorca the Balearic Island stuff over there yeah roughly there but we're not going there today we're going 